Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of uh, Spirit of Justice. So, uh, we discovered that Mr. Patrol may actually be the thief, and Mr. Understanding probably attacked him because he was, well, the thief. Ended up killing him. So let's continue on from this. And I'd like to continue to use my tongue in the future, too, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, well, that's a great way to start this. Using your tongue. Never has to know, it really was a bluff. Uh -huh. No, not Mr. Roll. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Albi. I know it upset. it's upsetting news. He must have needed the money badly. Probably to support his family. After all, he even gave up his dream of becoming a monk to help, to help them. Oh, so that thing Mr. Roll would say to me. Albie, you train hard and take make sure you become a monk one day. Don't end up like me, he'd say. Yeah. He was probably warning you not to end up a thief. Mr. Roll. N now wait just one minute. If the victim was a thief and he was holding the treasure box... Then that means Mr. Roll was holding the murder weapon when he was killed! Oh, that's a very good point. It doesn't make sense, does it? If the victim was holding the treasure box, it couldn't have been the murder weapon. Which means the real murder weapon must have been something else. The real murder weapon? Was something else? The blood was thought to have gotten on the box when the box was used as a weapon. But it turns out that wasn't the case. The blood splatter onto the treasure box was uh, the victim was holding. When he was struck with the real, uh, the... Wow, I'm just going over my words today. With the real weapon. That's what really happened. Isn't that right, Mr. Understanding? Are you insinuating I'm the one who used this real weapon? Are you saying I'm wrong in my understanding? Oh! <laughs> you got me riled up, lawyer man. I feel a song coming on. Looking for a weapon that just don't exist. Pathetic lawyer man drop into the abyss. Despicable lawyer, man, you make me sick. You can disappear just like a magic trick. Worthless lawyer, man, done it by a weapon for you, miserable wretch, hell doth beckon. Yeah. I know I don't need to remind you, defense. That your life is on the line. I know, your majesty. Yet you've prepared to risk it on this mere idea of a real murder weapon. Death to the lawyer. Yo, calm down, man. Calm down. This is it. The moment of truth. I can't back down. Not now. Yes, your majesty. I am. I'm confident the real murder weapon does indeed exist. That's a bold claim, Mr. Wright. Now let's see you back it up. Show us which piece of evidence points to this real murder weapon. Gladly. I knew which one it was. <laughs> I know it! What would somebody, like, understanding use to bludgeon someone? <sighs> now then, defense, please submit your evidence to the court. <laughs> yeah, let's see it, lawyer man. Let's see this thing that shows the real murder weapon you say I used. Uh, hmm. Let's look at the Dance of Devotion photo. I didn't mention it before, but if you looked at the picture, he's using a different guitar in the photo. What I'm about to present is really nothing more than a possibility. But this thin thread is all I've got. Allow me to direct the court's attention to this photo of the Morning Dance of Devotion. That photo? How is that going to help you, Mr. Wright? There's something about it that doesn't sit right with me. 
Oh, yeah? And what's this something, hmm? This thing here is odd, to say the least. Let's look at his guitar. Mr. Understanding, why is the instrument you're holding different from the one you're playing in the photo? Would you look at that? They're completely different shapes. I believe you said your Damalin was your one and only. Well, Mr. Understanding, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> I got nothing to say. Then allow me to answer for you. They're different because the one in the photo is no longer in playable condition. Katong! Not after you used it to bludgeon Mr. Roll to death! <laughs> My old partner wasn't doing so hot, so I brought her sister along. That's all. Not a big deal, lawyer man. In that case, please submit your old Damalin. Uh, uh, did I say it right? Damalin to this court as evidence. Too bad, you're too late. I got rid of her yesterday. Of course you did. You what? Burned her up with the rest of the trash. So much for her being his one and only. Ashes to ashes, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! No! He's already destroyed the evidence? And I see more trash right here in this court that needs to burn in the fires of hell. Lawyer trash. <laughs> now there's no proof to show. Oh, come on, that was pathetic. Your agony can sound better than that. Where's that great scream of yours? What the fuck is he doing? This... this can't be how it ends. I think I've heard enough. It seems the defense is unable to produce the evidence it needs to prove its assertions. But, but your magistrate, it's only because the witness destroyed it. Evidence is everything in court. Don't tell me you've forgotten this most fundamental principle of our profession. Without sufficient proof, your claim that Mr. Understanding is the murderer is no more than conjecture. Ugh. Of course. <laughs> There's the pain expression I've been looking for. By the way, there seems to be one more thing you're forgetting. What is it now? You accused Mr. Understanding of being a thief. But the real thief turned out to be the victim. Uh-oh. And with that, Mr. Understanding's purported motive for murder goes out the window. Ah! That's... Oh, shit, that's right. Great point, prosecutor. You tell him. If I had been there, I would have just collared Roll and gotten the treasure back. There wasn't any reason for me to kill him, now was there? Uh, I... There's no good counter-argument to that. It sounds to me like Mr. Understanding has been completely wrongfully accused. Unfortunately, as it may be, I think it's time to hand down the verdict in this case. Not good, not good! Defense, I trust you understand what you yourself will receive for taking on this case. You guys are way too excited about killing people! Ugh! What, what do I do? The murder weapon's been destroyed, and now I've got no motive. Poor Albi will be convicted, and I'll lose my life too. Mr. Wright, you've wasted this court's time and disparaged everything we hold sacred. We should charge you with lege lese majesty, in addition to the crime of abetting the accused. Yeah, you should pay for desecrating my good name. 
Bye bye lawyer man. Time for you to do some repenting in the Twilight Realm. This guy is guilty as sin. I just know it. He must have had some reason to kill Mr. Roll, but what? Come on, people. Let me hear you scream and shout. Time to take this lawyer trash out. Oh, I thought they were gonna say something, but I guess not. Oh god, this freaking gallery though. The thing to do at a time like this is to turn my thinking around. I shouldn't be trying to figure out what understanding's motive was. I should be thinking about what kind of situation would give him a motive. Did you steal it? He said. We know that Mr. Roll was the thief and that he had gotten his hands on the box. So then why... Why in the world did he ask Albie that question? What about the treasure box would have prompted him to... Ah! D defense What's got into you? Now I get it! Now it all makes sense! Like, Polkunka man, what you trying to say? Muttering and squealing to yourself. Sounds like you knocked something loose upstairs. Your Majesty! Please hold off on your ruling for just a little while longer! Don't tell me you're going to start begging for your life now! No, Your Majesty. That's not it. It's just that I realized something important. We've been operating under a serious misconception this whole time. A misconception, you say? That's right. A mistaken notion about the treasure box. But could this really be true? If so, there's still a lot to figure out. Very well. Let's hear what you have to say. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, this is just more of his nonsense. He's just stalling for time. This is your last chance, Defense. The second I find it really is nothing but nonsense. No amount of begging will stay in my hand, understand? Yes, Your Majesty. Huh! We all know this is just gonna be another one of your stupid bluffs. Now then, Defense, what is this misconception you mentioned? The thing we didn't realize about the treasure boss was that it was already empty. What if the treasure boss was already empty from the start? What? What? Please recall that when Mr. Roll ran into Albie on the great stairs, he asked the boy a question. Did you steal it? He said. Also recall that Mr. Roll was holding the treasure box at the time. So why then did he ask Albie the question that he did? That is a bit peculiar, isn't it? Not at all, Your Majesty. Not once you realize that. By the time Mr. Roll got to the treasure room, the treasure box was already empty. Uh, I beg your pardon? Mr. Roll suspected that Albi, Albi had gotten to it first, which is why he confronted Albi when he ran into the boy on the stairs. But how, but, but how would the victim have known the treasure box was empty? He didn't have any way of opening it. Once a year, the victim had the duty of carrying the treasure box to the palace. He was so proud when he was put in charge of guarding the treasure box. He even got to carry the box to the palace for the New Year's Rite. He would have been able to tell by the weight when he lifted it that the box was empty. Oh, I see. Yes, I suppose that he would have been able to tell, wouldn't he? Mr. Roll most likely decided to at least steal the empty box. It's an important historical artifact in and of itself, after all. Uh, but what's your point, Mr. Wright? What do 
does any of this have to do with Mr. Understanding? My point is this. It gave Mr. Understanding a motive to murder the victim. A motive? Mr. Understanding, keeping the treasure safe is one of your duties, isn't it? So if anyone had found out that the treasure was missing, you would have been accused of incompetence. From the moment Mr. Roll discovered that the treasure was gone, his fate was sealed. Because you decided then that he had to be silenced forever. But that's absurd! Oh boy. <laughs> Can you believe the stuff that comes out of this guy's mouth? This is all just a colossal joke. So then, what really happened to the treasure? It had been stolen long before this incident occurred. By Mr. Peace, Love, and Understanding himself! Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to accuse Mr. Understanding? Your Majesty, please don't listen to these trumped up charges! The defense is grasping! Objection. The treasure box can only be opened with the key Mr. Understanding holds! Who else could have stolen the treasure? As I said, the accused stole the treasure by forcing open the box! That doesn't look like you can force it open at all. Your Majesty, I call for a swift ruling! I'm not ready to give my verdict yet. What?! The defense has successfully presented a new possibility in this case. Yes, finally, a tiny shred of hope. Mr. Understanding. Would you care to make any statements in response to the defense's claims? Rah! He's panicking. He's panicking. This is all bull. My noggin's a rage cage, and it's ready to explode, baby. Instructor Understanding, please calm yourself. I am not calm. I'm not gonna take it. No, I ain't gonna take it. I dutifully watched over that treasure with pride. And now I'm getting accused of stealing it? This lawyer is a lying scumbag! Eep. <laughs> you better believe I got something to say. Open up your ear holes, sheeple. Let's rock! Death to the lion lawyer. Oh boy. Another testimony. This might be the last one, I think, so... Not sure if I can get through this testimony before we run out of time, but... Mm. Do it! Steal the founders or me, I did it. This lying lawyer's insults know no limit. All this time I got it the old faithfully. Sacred duty to the holy mother, easy to see. Hands unclean, the accused did the deed, forced the box open, no key did he need. Lying lawyer, condemn him to hell, kick him, throw him into a prison cell. Woo! Alright. All right, we have now heard from both sides. Either the treasure box was first opened by the accused, as the witness claims, or Mr. Understanding opened it, as the defense claims. Defense, this is your last chance to cross-examine the witness. I keep changing this judge's voice, I know. Yes, your Majesty. If you are unable to prove your assertions by the end of this cross-examination, then the DC Act will come into play, and both you and the accused will lose your lives. I understand. Life or death, it all comes down to this.
Mr. Wright! Don't worry, Albie. I'm here to defend you. I promise it'll be alright. Thank you. I believe in you, Mr. Wright. I know you can win this for us. And after we win, we can go see Miss Maya together. It's a deal. I can't let Albie down. I have to win this trial. Somehow I have to prove that only understanding could have stolen the treasure. Do your worst, lawyer trash. This is your requiem. The last song you'll ever hear on this mortal coil. Bring it, boy! Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this, so I'm just gonna press on everything. See what we get from there. Hold it! But the argument that the orb was already gone before the murder fits all the facts. Huh. It's no use even talking to you. Where's your proof that I stole the orb? Huh? Lawyer trash? He's right. I don't have any proof. Yet. But I'll find some. Hold it! Your sacred duty, huh? The problem with that is that I don't think you really are a true believer. Why, you... How dare you question my faith! It's downright insulting! I'm not trying to insult you, but I can't suspend logic either. You wormed your way into the temple with the intent of stealing the treasure, didn't you? I've had all the insults I can take out of you, lawyer trash. But you're the only one who can open the treasure box. You just keep on arguing the same old lie. I sing the truth here, my battle cry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that motion is just... All right, we're skipping over this statement for now. I'm not the one who'll be going to jail, Mr. Understanding. You are. You think so, huh? Hey, what do you think, people? Didn't mean to skip over that. It's not just me this lawyer is putting down. He's insulting Karainism and the Karainese people, too. If he thinks he can get away with that, he's got another thing coming. Right, people? <laughs> That's right. Disrespectful lawyers deserve to be removed post-haste. Oh my god. Yikes. The gallery's getting really whipped up over this. You're going to jail. You, not me. If you don't believe me, just wait and see. It's too late. No forgiveness for you. Not from me, the judge, or her holiness too. You'll rue the day you set foot in this court. To the gallows lawyer, you will report. This is it. My last chance. The thing is... Even though our lives are on the line, I feel strangely calm. I think it's because I know, as a lawyer, I just have to do what I do best. All I have to do is believe in my clients, in Albie's innocence. Alright, now we're gonna go back and hit that third statement. Hold it. The defendant didn't force the box open. That's a lie. In fact, you're the one who opened it, isn't that right? <laughs> Come on, you just saw for yourself, didn't you? The lock was busted on account of the box being forced open. Oh, yeah. Well, there's your proof right there. Ah, score one for the metalhead. Look, if the accused really didn't try to force his way into the box, 
Then how do you explain why the lock was busted and wouldn't open up for you earlier? Hmm, how do I explain why the box wouldn't unlock earlier? Maybe there's a different way to open it. There's a different way to open the box. Huh? What are you talking about? There's a secret trick to opening it, to protect its contents from being stolen. And you're the only one who knows how it works, isn't that right? Are you for real? You've been watching too many movies, lawyer man. Ah, so you're one of those tourists. Honestly, Mr. Wright, did you come to expecting magic and mystery around every corner? I'll have you know, Defense, the Kingdom of Karayan is not some sort of fantasy fun land. Ugh. It's true, I don't have any real grounds to make that assertion. And yet... Oh yeah, I feel another song coming on. A little number about a crazy lawyer with wild, fantastic ideas. The real method to open the lock, you say, delusional man, there ain't no other way. Ah, a new verse. Please do add it to your testimony, Mr. Understanding. Holy. Oh my gosh. Delusional, am I? We'll see about that. Wild ideas, that's called delusion. Mixed up lawyer drowning in confusion. Indeed, the defense's sinful wrongdoing has made him lose touch with reality. Let's hear it, what'll it be, for this sinner's flight of fancy? Nothing, because I'm not the delusional one. I just know there's gotta be some secret trick to opening the treasure box. Oh really? And where exactly is this secret hidden? The secret is obviously hidden in... the box. Now, you can actually pick both options and you'll get two different statements for this, but for this playthrough, it's the box that's the answer. That'll get us where we need to go anyway. Yeah? And where on the box is this secret exactly? Well, it's... I hadn't thought that far ahead. It's the carvings! There's definitely something going on here! Are you sure? You're sounding a little desperate, Defense. D desperate Not at all, Your Majesty. The carvings the accused snuck in to see, even though it's forbidden, might I add. Witness, can you tell us about these carvings on the box? Of course. As head monk, I know all about them. The carvings depict a Karainese butterfly as it carries a soul to the Twilight Realm. They were made in around the 7th century. I see. Could you please add that information to your testimony? Fine. Listen up, lawyer trash. Karainese butterfly from the 7th century carries the Mitama so elementary. Yeah! Okay, so we're now we're pressing this again. I believe this butterfly design conceals some sort of secret. Oh yeah? Why don't you check it out for yourself then? Huh? What's with the smug look on his face? I think I'll do just that, your majesty, if I could. Huh. Nothing unusual here. Wait, did I pick... Okay, the markings on the box do have something to do with the real answer, but maybe I hit the wrong thing. Well, Defense, what have you discovered? I don't think I actually hit... Did I hit the box when I was streaming this? <laughs> I'm afraid I haven't discovered anything, Your Majesty. Here, I'll return it now. I told ya. Didn't I tell ya? Ugh. 
Okay, I guess it was the other one then. Then in that case, there must be some secret to the key. But anyway, I guess this explains my point. You could go either way, you'll just take a little longer to get to the real answer. Heh heh heh. Now you're suspicious of the key, are ya? There's just no reasoning with this man. The accused forced the lock open. There's no other explanation. That's right. He desecrated the box by opening it without using this Mitama key. Excuse me, what? Mitama? Wait, what did he just say? I'll sing it as many times as I have to to get it through your thick lawyer skull. Only the Mitama key unlocks the treasure for sit and reap the founder's displeasure. Yeah! Mitama key. Couple videos ago, he said the Magatama key. For the forgetful defense's sake, could you please add that to your testimony? Oh, so you like this little number better, do ya? Let's see. Should I have him swap in this statement? Yep, have him change it. I guess it was the key then. I don't know why I hit- Okay, see, maybe that's probably why. I thought too far ahead, but I know the pattern on the box is one of the answers to this later on. I believe the witness just made, a uh, saying a very important statement. I would like to switch- I would like it switched into his testimony. Very well. Witness, if you would. If I have to, carve it into your brain, lawyer man. Only the Mitama key. Okay then. Uh, let's go ahead and present here, because I don't want to go through that whole statement and where he's gonna like, you want to switch it? Nah. So let's present the Magatama key. Just admit it, Mr. Understanding. You just called your key the Mitama key, didn't you? Uh. But didn't you originally say it's called the Magatama key? Gah. The Mitama key? What's that? I don't know, your majesty. But apparently, it's a rather crucial question. What? What's the big deal? So I said the wrong thing. So what? Simple slip of the tongue. An A for effort, Mr. Wright, but your grandstanding betrays your desperation. I'm afraid a small slip of the tongue like that adds absolutely nothing to your argument. What say you, defense? Is it an important detail? Judging by Understanding's reaction... I'd say it's everything my argument needs. Yes, your majesty, it's very important. This key is apparently not the Magatama key, but rather the Mitama key. And I believe this discrepancy holds great significance for the defense. Nah, man, just a meaningless mistake. Insignificant. <laughs> You're riding the crazy train to nowhere, lawyer man. Your Majesty, please don't pay the defense any heed. It's all nonsense. Hmm. Just to tell the truth, I'm not really clear on what the defense is driving at myself. However, I am eager to find out. What? Defense, you will explain yourself like your life literally depends on it. Because it does. <laughs> now then. Is the name of the key an important detail? Yes, it's an absolutely important detail, I think. Because the Mitama key is connected to the Founder's Orb. Oh, I see. Very well. In that case, please show the court the grounds on which you are basing this claim. The, the grounds, Your Majesty? You can, of course, show grounds, can you not, Defense? Of course. What else can I say? <sighs> I have to come up with something, anything, even if it's just a bluff. The Minima key. Minima. Hmm. There has to be something somewhere that ties Minima to end the orb together. There is, and I'm gonna present it. Don't keep me waiting, Defense. What evidence shows a connection between the Minima key and the Founder's Orb? Well, the answer to that is... Oops, I just passed it. The Song of Ceremonies! What's that? The Song of Ceremony? 
Okay, I guess I'll have to save this next part in the next video because I don't want this to go over an hour. We're already slightly over, but there's still quite a bit left here. So I'm just gonna leave it here for now and we'll finish this in the next video. See you guys then. Uh, hmm. Let's look at the Dance of Devotion photo. I didn't mention it before, but if you looked at the picture, he's using a different guitar in the photo. What I'm about to present is really nothing more than a possibility. But this thin thread is all I've got. Allow me to direct the court's attention to this photo of the Morning Dance of Devotion. That photo? How is that going to help you, Mr. Wright? There's something about it that doesn't sit right with me. Oh, yeah? And what's this something, hmm? This thing here is odd, to say the least. Let's look at his guitar. Mr. Understanding, why is the instrument you're holding different from the one you're playing in the photo? Would you look at that? They're completely different shapes. I believe you said your Damalin was your one and only. Yeah. He was probably warning you not to end up a thief. Mr. Roll. N now wait just one minute. If the victim was a thief and he was holding the treasure box, then that means Mr. Roll was holding the murder weapon when he was killed. Oh, that's a very good point. It doesn't make sense, does it? If the victim was holding the treasure box, it couldn't have been the murder weapon. Which means the real murder weapon must have been something else. The real murder weapon? Was something else? The blood was thought to have gotten on the box when the box was used as a weapon. But it turns out that wasn't the case. The blood splatter onto the treasure box was uh, the victim was holding. When he was struck with the real, uh, the... Wow, I'm just going over my words today. With the real weapon. That's what really happened. Isn't that right, Mr. Understanding? Are you insinuating I'm the one who used this real weapon? Are you saying I'm wrong in my understanding? Oh! <laughs> You got me riled up, lawyer man. I feel a song coming on. Looking for a weapon that just don't exist. Pathetic lawyer man drop into the abyss. Despicable lawyer man, you make me sick. You can disappear just like a magic trick. Worthless lawyer man done it by a weapon for you miserable wretch hell doth beckon Yeah I know I Welcome back everybody to another episode of uh, Spirit of Justice. So uh we discovered that Mr. Patrol may actually be the thief, and Mr. Understanding probably attacked him because he was, well, the thief. Ended up killing him. So let's continue on from this. And I'd like to continue to use my tongue in the future, too, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, well, that's a great way to start this. Using your tongue. Never has to know it really was a bluff. Uh. No, not Mr. Roll. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Albie. I know it upset- it's upsetting news. He must have needed the money badly, probably to support his family. After all, he even gave up his dream of becoming a monk to help- to help them. Oh! So that thing Mr. Roll would say to me! Albie, you train hard and take- make sure you become a monk one day. Don't end up like me. 
he'd say. Don't need to remind you, Defense, that your life is on the line. I know, Your Majesty. Yet you've prepared to risk it on this mere idea of a real murder weapon. Death to the lawyer. Yo, calm down, man. Calm down. This is it. The moment of truth. I can't back down. Not now. Yes, Your Majesty. I am. I'm confident the real murder weapon does indeed exist. That's a bold claim, Mr. Wright. Now let's see you back it up. Show us which piece of evidence points to this real murder weapon. Gladly. I knew which one it was. <laughs> I know it! What would somebody, like, understanding use to bludgeon someone? <sighs> now then, defense, please submit your evidence to the court. <laughs> yeah, let's see it, lawyer man. Let's see this thing that shows the real murder weapon you say I used. Uh, 